If the whirring sounds of the wind turbine or the array of solar panels don't send a message that Lucky Clay's farm is a different type of farm, then what's in this greenhouse definitely will. In fact, the future of farming in a world where water is scarce might just be inside this building tucked into the hills around Norwood. Water is still required for this farming operation, but what's happening here needs only about one-tenth of the water that is used to grow vegetables in the ground. That's because this farm is a closed system that recycles 99.5% of its water. This would be aquaponics, and what we're doing is we're incorporating um, hydroponics with aquaculture. So we're using the water that's recirculating through the fish system to propagate and to grow plants with. Aquaponics is a farming system in which everything is linked together in a man-made water cycle. Water is cleaned and recycled and used again and again to raise fish and grow plants. This is going to sound silly, but this is all, these are all floating. Correct? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. They're, um, I'll tell you what, this would be a good one. So this floats in nothing but water. You can see the, uh, the young roots falling down through there. Um, we have air stones. Uh, every four foot, every 16 square foot, we have an air stone that provides fresh oxygen for the roots. Um, this is something that normally in terrestrial farming you don't get as much ambient oxygen in the soil as you would in our facility here. And, and just to make sure, this is the water that the fish were in that has been cleaned and everything else, and now it's flowing. That's right. Away. Yes, sir. Okay. So what is your? You might be ready to say yuck. Bradley Todd, who designed and built the system, wouldn't be surprised. We, sh we hear that a lot, and um, there's merit to both sides of it. What we do is we collect all solids, all uneaten food, any kind of waste in the system, so no solid waste at all ever makes it to any of our plants. Um, what that allows us to do is to take that solid waste and to mineralize it, and that extracts all the nutrients, um, any kind of the macro, micronutrients that the plants need. But the folks at Lucky Clay's believe their system will also make people say, hmm. You know, one of the other things is as the population grows and uh, real estate shrinks and the fish stocks in the oceans get depleted through overfishing or disease, we're going to have to find newer ways to feed the populations. And one way of doing it is a system like this to where uh, you can do it in um, inner city in a building, renovate it, set it up that way, or you can do it outside, you know, out in the rural areas like we're doing. There are really two drivers to this system. The first is natural, gravity. That's what brings the water from the fish tanks down to the vegetables. The second driver, perhaps even more important, are the fish themselves, because it's the uneaten fish food and the fish waste that fertilizes the vegetables. So here's how it works. The tilapia live the first few months of their life in another building before being brought to the main farming facility. And that is a what? This is a male tilapia. Yep, a Nile tilapia. The fish are fed several times a day. It takes about one year to raise tilapia to the roughly two pounds that restaurants are asking for. The water is constantly circulating, which allows the fish to swim and the system to keep the water moving. Our filtration system uses gravity. Um, the specific gravity of fish waste and uneaten food is slightly more than water, so that causes any kind of waste to settle in the bottom. So clean water comes through into our biofilter. Um, our bio biofilter is composed of uh, biomedia. In this case, it's called as K1 media. And um, it's kind of like little pieces of a uh, pasta noodle. And what this is, is it has an extreme amount of surface area for its size. The solid waste from the fish, as well as leftover fish food, is removed. All the while, two types of bacteria are allowed to grow on the filters. One type converts the ammonia that is left in the water from the fish waste into nitrites. The other bacterium turns the nitrites into nitrates, which is great fertilizer for plants. In short, the farm utilizes one of the basics of chemistry, the nitrogen cycle, to clean the water and grow vegetables. After the chemistry is done, what it 
what it turns into is all the nutrients that's in that fish feed that the fish use, waste out, um, that becomes the input for the plant growth. So that's what provides the nutrients for these plants to grow. The water keeps moving through filtration beds of rock, which further cleans the water and removes any remaining solids. The water is then used to soak a growth medium in which seeds are planted. So they'll stay on the seed table for approximately two weeks. Um, these will be moved next Monday to the system. Um, from there, they get transferred over to here. And now we're back to water again. Back to water again. Okay. Yes, sir. What is this? So this is a uh, this is our tighter space, and so. Um, the next step after the seeds have germinated them is we put them over here on our four inch spacing. Um, and they'll spend about two weeks over here getting a little bigger, a little stronger um, before we put them out to the larger space. And, and there they'll stay till they continue to the end and are harvested for restaurants. The water is then filtered naturally as it flows along the rows of plants, large and small. It is then returned to the fish tanks. The farm produces several types of lettuce, along with cilantro, basil, and parsley. The plants move through the water system from top to bottom in about six weeks. That's less time than it takes for similar plants to grow in soil. You definitely, we take water quality samples every week. Uh, we monitor our oxygen levels in our fish tank as well as in our plant beds. Um, any kind of, you know, traditional farming, you would spray chemicals, you would do stuff to either you know, prevent weeds from growing or add you know, nutrients through foliar or soil application. Um, anything you do to the plants can affect the fish and vice versa. So you know, we don't use any kind of hormones for the fish, any kind of antibiotics. We use no types of pesticides, all organic certified methods of treating pests. But it all appears to be working. Lucky Clay's experiment with aquaponics is so successful it is building a larger facility, which will produce 20 tons of fish, four tons of shrimp, and 320,000 units of produce per year. All of it is destined for restaurants. The customer base is growing. We see this as not only a, you know, an economic opportunity for young entrepreneurs in agriculture, but as a solution to a lot of the environmental problems that's going on in the world. Um, we can keep clean water, pure water, we recycle our water, um, we can use a lot less land to grow a lot more plants.